All right, so if you haven't noticed, I do not use the word CEO in any of my social media bios, and it's because I think the word is cringe. And I know I'm gonna get a, a lot of hate for this video just because a lot of people have CEO in their bio. Um, <laughs> but let me explain myself, okay? I do not give a fuck if you have that in your bio. I am have a lot of friends that have it, never say a word. This is just personally for me. The reason why I don't like to be called a CEO, the reason why I don't put it in any of my socials is a real reason and it's very intentional. And I hope by the end of this video, maybe this makes you want to remove it or keep it. I don't care. Don't feel forced. This is just my thoughts. Okay. So basically, the, f the main reason why I don't have CEO in my bio is just because I am not a huge fan of the CEO culture currently on social media, mostly on Instagram. This is not about a certain person, it's just the culture, it's the expectation, right? And for me, this CEO culture is really categorized in three main parts. I feel like it's all about self-made, flashy, I can do it, you can do it to communities. And three of these things are harmless, but together with the virality of Instagram, I don't think it's quite healthy. And let me explain. So the first flaw with CEO culture, it's the idea of self-made. I mean, I see a lot of people saying, you know, I went from zero dollars to seven figures all on my own. And that's probably true. Like you probably didn't get investments from a, a, a VC, right? But I guess what I get very personally sensitive about is you can't say, I, I feel like it's personally hard for me to say, hey, I was self-made because it's not true. Like no one's like, I don't think anybody's fully self-made. You know, you have to have a certain amount of privilege to have Wi-Fi internet, to have parents that maybe support you doing a business, to maybe have, uh, you know, to be born in the US where you have rights. We can be born in any part of the world, right? And of course, like take me, for example, I am Asian female, and I obviously might not have as many privileges as a white male in America, but I definitely still had privileges to start my business. And like when I was 16, my dad's a computer scientist and he told me about YouTube and digital marketing and that's privilege and that's not self-made. And it just makes me really angry, honestly, when I see a lot of people on the internet and gurus tell a story of 100% self-made and it is really inspiring. Like I listen to all of them, trust me, but it just gives the false expectation for someone who maybe doesn't have those privileges um, and, and wants those same results. And I think when you're in the business of helping other people, it's your responsibility to be honest. And CEO culture is not about being honest. It's about looking cool, which leads me to my next part, which is the flashy communities. Now, I think I, I, think I like nice things. I, I keep saying I'm a minimalist person, but I literally went to the hair salon yesterday and I spent $500 to dye my hair purple, <laughs> which... <laughs> I don't even want to justify it. I don't know why I spent this much. I hope it looks good. But the point is, I don't have a nice car. I, like I drive a Kia Soul, which I love. It's economic. It's economically friendly. Um, like I have roommates. Um, like I have a roommate. So point is, I felt like there was something wrong with me for a while because all my friends have Teslas and houses and really nice things, and I realize. I intentionally like renting. I like saving money. And there's other things I buy, like experiences travel, that maybe it's different than my peers. And I think there's these like certain things you have to have to be a CEO on social media. And it's like that nice house, a nice car. And I just don't have those things. And I don't want those things right now. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I just don't want to be in a community where you feel pressure to do so, which is why I don't love the CEO culture. I don't know if it's any person, like I don't think anyone's like looking, actually. <laughs> so I was at a dinner one time. This is a good example of this. I was at a dinner and someone asked me what car I drove. It's with like all CEOs. And they literally like looked at me and was like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> now I know my car is a meme, so whatever. But point is, I didn't really appreciate that, but I also don't associate myself with those types of entrepreneurs. So 
I just remove myself from that group. And it's, it's, it's really hard for me because, you know, for two solid years on YouTube, like 2017 to 2018, I made YouTube videos called, like, in that category. Like, I was literally making content. Like, if I can do this on Instagram, you can too. If I can grow this much, you can too. If I can make this much, you can too. And I think that's fairly true. Like, when I was 16, 17, 18, that's how I felt. But now that I'm older and I just see, like, how much the economy has displaced so many people and COVID has, you know, impacted people with jobs that are physical, like, you know, and I, I just, I just feel like that's not true. Like, you know, if, if I can do it, you can do it too, but probably not in the same steps. And life has no roadmap. And it, it does infuriate me when I see people profiting off selling people roadmaps, because it's just like, there is not one to life. And I don't know, maybe I'm just pessimistic. And I am just super like, alternative and anti against the grain. But um, you know, that's why I intentionally, you know, if you guys, I, I keep repeating this, but I intentionally had to, um, not make money on YouTube. I had to focus on my agency just so I can make YouTube videos for fun. So I don't have to be tied to, you know, selling you guys something. And now I'm working on projects that I'm really aligned with, like my startup NF Treehouse, where we're planting trees with creators minted as NFTs. Um, I have my agency X8 Media. So like I have other things that make me money um but i'm not trying to make money just to make money like i'm trying to make impactful driven projects i removed myself from that group and now i consider myself more in like the founder social impact web3 world there's not really much titles like no one really calls themselves a ceo in this community and i resonate myself with that community way more and that's good like i don't think it's a bad thing again to call yourself a ceo like obviously i'm a ceo on paper you know, but I think it's just about how you put your message out there. Like you don't need to be like the rest of the internet if that's not how you jam. And I guess that's my whole message with this video. With that being said, I am making a podcast version of all my YouTube videos. And the title of the podcast is literally called I'm Not an Expert. And you guys should check it out. I sometimes get a little nervous releasing that title because the title is kind of like self-deprecating. Like a part of me wondered, like, do I really hate myself so much to remove myself from the CEO community to not, you know, to call myself literally not an expert? And I think the point is, no, like I'm, I am really confident with myself. Like, I don't want you guys to think like I'm not like I'm not saying I'm not proud of being a CEO. It's more about I really want to be intentional with the way I am perceived online because I know somebody on the other side can easily take it as a sign to get inspired, but it could also be misleading. And I just want to be super honest. So by positioning myself as I'm not an expert, it's more just like I'm not an expert. I'm one of you guys. I'm someone also learning. I'm someone still growing and figuring things out. And I'm no way here, like above you. And I'm not here, like above anyone trying to sell you something. Like that's the vibe I really want to give off. So Anyways, on the podcast, I will be talking a lot about um, all the things I don't like about CEO culture and just more things I've learned that you guys can take as tips. So if you guys want to listen to the full version, I will link it below. And then for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube mini video on my thoughts about CEO. And, you know, I hope this inspires you to keep your bio or not. Just do you, boo, and don't change yourself for anybody else. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Okay, peace.